I'd like to share with you guys uh, something I wrote uh, while some time ago. I call it the Fire of Love. God of Heaven, God of Earth, take me from this, from the darkness. Take me to the Promised Land. Tears have stopped. The river is no more. You have shaped me. You have found me. To you I let lead. My hand to give. To be in your presence. To be engulfed by the fire of your love. To hold me and comfort me. This is where I want to willingly be. Also, um, praying about this, uh, I got a couple of other verses to share with you guys. Matthew 6, 26. Behold, the fowls of the air, for they saw, they sow not, neither do, do they reap, nor gather into the barns. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are ye not much better than they? And you can think about that on a spiritual level, too. For uh, God will give you. Psalms 50, uh, verse 3. God our Father shall not keep silent. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very temperous around about him. And another verse. Matthew 18, verse 8. Wherefore, if thy hand or thy foot offend thee, cut them off thee. It is better for thee to enter into life halt or maimed, rather than having two hands or two feet to be cast into everlasting fire. And that everlasting fire is hell. Um, and the fire I was talking about is God's consuming fire of love. So, you either have the choice of the fire of God's love or the eternal fire of hell. What is your choice?